Go. Well, so we're group one, and our, our project is made entirely out of Legos, which allows us to have the most amount of fun with the least amount of money and time. So um, our, our project, essentially, it, it's a clock, and it displays a second hand and a minute hand, um, where the minute hand lasts for 52 seconds, because that's how many teeth were on this gear. So um, the different, di different machine elements include, um, we've got a bunch of gears, six different gears, sets of gears, rather. Um, we've got a shaft. Um, we've got a journal bearing, since Legos assembled that way. Um, we've got a spring and a clutch. And, um, yeah, a belt. Alrighty, so the device gets the power from the drive shaft right down there. And we got a set of gears, so that turns, then we go to the main drive gear. So you see a big long chain, and then as the chain turns, it will grab a golf ball from the little carrier, lift it up to the top, golf ball fall down through the chute, hit the lever, and then underneath it will be a calculator which will set up and it'll hit the you got a little plunger, it'll hit the enter key, so it will effectively count the number of cycles or the times that the ball goes through. So the actual elements, we got a spring right over here under the lever. We've got bearings because there's obviously shafts, so they're turning in the connects pieces. We've got gears, we've got obviously a shaft, and then the chain. So there's five elements total. It just keeps like... Okay, thanks. Alright, our design uh, involves this ball ringing this bell every uh, couple of cycles. It starts here with uh, the belt that turns on this little wheel here, on the, turns the shaft, which turns the smaller gear, which turns the bigger gear, which is connected to these two rubber band belts, which tra transfers the uh, rotation to this arm here, which isn't fixed, it actually rotates on the shaft, but every time this uh, little arm comes around, it pushes pushes the, the arm around, transfers the uh, motion to the string, which to the ball, which is connected by rubber bands. So we have the shaft, the bearings for all these shafts, the gear, belt, um, and the spring. And maybe if you can consider this a clutch. Alright, okay, this is a team number four, uh, Ruben Volver machine. We have a little gearbox in the back here. You can turn that around, by the way. Yeah, we have a gearbox in the back here. Um, that's powering the Christmas tree to spin around and it's powering a crank on the other side right in here which is moving Santa's arm and then Santa's arm is attached to the box and the bot lifts up the box and then there's um, a, a snow guy on the inside. <laughs> <laughs> a little snowman that lights up on the inside. And so what are your required elements? Um, so we have, we have screw gear, we have a shaft, we have two belts, um, we have gears, um, we have a crank, and um, am I missing anything else? Yeah. Right, this is a Team 5 Drew Goldberg machine. It takes the pulley off the shaft into this pulley right here. Um, this shaft right here has actually nylon bearings on it. Um, from this shaft we have a sprocket and chain setup which goes up to our main shaft which controls the device that hits the ball up an incline. The ball, when it returns, is stopped by the spring. The shock is absorbed there. Um, and some other kind of unnecessary features. We have a clutch up here because we couldn't get these gears to mesh purpose, uh, perfectly. So this is all friction right here, which comes up around to this gear, which doesn't have teeth on it all the way. And this little piece right here kind of acts as a brake as it rubs against the top part of the gear. It worked better on our low torque test, uh, test motor as opposed to the super high uh, all right, uh, we're group number six. Um, we're going to see receive power to the shaft uh, with Downing's belt, and it's going to rotate the shaft. And the shaft's going to come in place by two roller bearings, and then the power is transferred by two belts to upper shaft here, which spins this, and then we have a clutch holding the um, circle, holding the paintbrush to the shaft, so it's going to paint, uh, paint onto the sheet. Um, the uh, power from Downing's shaft goes to the belt, which turns this 
uh, shaft, um, which has a bearing, like a special brass bearing that cost me money over there, um, which turns this, these belts, um, it, which turns this chain that uh, lifts up the ball, goes down the ramps, hits this thing with a spring uh, that pushes it down this thing. Uh, this shaft has um, cam lobes on it, which move the Lego guys up and down to propel it past there. Goes down this ramp and hits this uh, back plate, which attaches to a gear, which turns another gear, which hits a little arm that hits the equal sign of this calculator, um, and an original unique idea that counts uh, how many cycles it goes, and bounces down, <laughs> bounce rolls down, and back to get loaded up on the chain again. All right, well, we're group number eight, and uh, we ran into a few snags with our original design uh, yesterday. Uh, it didn't work, so we had to uh, reconfigure it a little bit, and what it does now is it rotates here. It has the, uh, the input comes in on here, rotates this series of pulleys and belts, rips it around so a guitar pick twangs this string, which is our spring. All right, so obviously we take um, downing shaft and with uh, his pulley system, turn a, a rod which turns another uh, set of a chain and pulley system, which turns a worm gear, which turns this uh, spur gear. So then goes through uh, this shaft. This is a clutch here. Uh, we have two shafts that sort of meet up and have two um, uh, Lego pieces that interlock uh, to make a gear, which then goes to I threw another shaft to a camshaft, which then turns this rod, which will continuously pull this trigger on the gun and make a lot of noise and hopefully annoy people. All right, so um, we decided we we're going to make a uh, contraption for the lazy fisherman. So what we do here is um, we take the input um, from the machine uh, to this uh, pulley here. There's a shaft connecting this pulley to another pulley. There's a uh, belt running around here to these spools. They wind up pulling this rod back and it snaps together, tossing the rod. Um, so the different elements we have, we have belts and pulleys, we have a shaft here, we have a bearing on these pulleys. Uh, this is a spring and there's also a clutch between these two pulleys uh, which allows it to rotate back and then spring forward. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. <laughs> I gotta, gotta get it back away from here a little bit. I had no one.